Hey, it's me, GB, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on Legendary Difficulty. Did I do it? I think I did it. What's up, everybody? Uh, we did a live stream. It was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. <clears throat> uh, we just did some exploration. To be honest, I'm not even sure. Oh, I am sure, because that's Fort Dunstad over there, which we did a Skyrim's Hidden Treasures on called Fort Drunkstad a while back. Uh, there's a standing stone over there, which I'd like to get. Do we have any marker up there? No, not really. Not really. Uh, and we just explored some locations, trying to get some, like, one-handed skills up and stuff. Um, you didn't miss much. I, it was like, it was like, uh, the Monday before Christmas. By the way, let's, um, where am I going first of all? Okay, I know where I'm going. Uh, let's go to Windhelm real quick. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, actually, let's go to... Let's go to, uh, Riverwood, actually. Um, you didn't uh, miss much if you didn't see it, because I... Uh, yeah, we did a, a Spur of the Moment... Uh, not Spur of the Moment holiday stream, but we did a Spur of the Moment Skyrim exploration thing, because everybody wanted it, and I was like, all right, we can do some Skyrim if you want it. We did some Banjo-Kazooie, and then we did some, uh... Need something. Forget what else we did. We did something else, and then we did some Skyrim exploration. But I was drinking some holiday beers, and boy, they were strong at 7.1%. And they just kind of all hit me as soon as we started Skyrim. And it was kind of a bad idea because I was like, oh, man, I am not in the mindset right now to be able to really create content. So we did some exploration. Excuse me? Oh, right. Yeah, we did some exploration. Uh, Lydia is dead. Yeah. Get used to it. There's going to be a lot of dead companions. I'm telling you that right now. Um, I... <laughs> With legendary difficulty, you kind of always have to be attacking, and I just can't really... I I hate how it's like, you know, they'll get down to 1 HP, and then I'll shoot some flames, and they'll die. We'll try to keep them alive, but Lydia's dead. We now have Uthgird the Unbroken. We grabbed her. We did some. We killed a dragon. We killed a giant. Uh, we explored, like, I don't know, two, three, four locations. Uh, we got some stuff here and there, but main idea was just to do some exploration. But Lydia is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so rest in peace, Lydia. Now, I wanted to check and see if I had any, um, if I had any dragon bones and stuff in here in my, I do, look at that. Okay, so we're gonna drop off any of this stuff real quick. Let's see, uh, Corundum Ore, goodbye, dragon bone, dragon scales, ebony ore, okay, we want the gems, gold ore, malachite ore, oh, we picked up Meridia, uh, Meridia's beacon as well. Which, if you don't know, this thing has, like, a random chance of spawning in any chest, pretty much. I forget how the exact spawning mechanics work. But we did find it, which means we probably have the quest for it. I was far too drunk to be recording any sort of Skyrim or Let's Play content. And boy, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do a we're gonna do a stream to make up for that at some point. So, once again, make sure to follow my uh, Twitch stream if you're not already. Because, uh, as I said, these days I'm usually pretty darn good. Uh, let's see. I don't think we got any, like, weapons or apparel or anything that's unique. We do have the Axe of Whiterun, since Lydia's dead. Uh, we'll drop that in there. Uh, and then let's see if, with apparel real quick. Uh, we have some amulets. Uh, we could go and check. Oh, we have the Execution Hoods. Yes. What am I even wearing? Oh, boy. Uh, okay, I think we're good for the most part. Yeah, let's go and disenchant some stuff real quick. If we can whatsoever. Hide Helmet of Major Destruction, we're still wearing. Novice Robes of Alteration, goodbye. Fortify Alteration and Magicka Regen, cool. Ring of Minor Health, we are also wearing. Man, why can't I wear any, or why can't I disenchant anything? It's crazy. I, usually at the start of a playthrough, you can disenchant so much stuff so quickly. All right, let's go. I need to close the door behind you. Uh, we beat Uthgird in a fist fight, which took 20,000 years, real time. Uh, no, seriously, it was awful. It took forever, used up all my potions, etc., etc. It was really, really bad. But we got her, and now we're able to use her as a follower. So that's cool, since Lydia is dead. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do something entirely different. Now, oh, there's so many things I want to talk about right at the start here. Um, let's see. So yeah, anyways, first of all, where are we going? I know where we're going. Let's go to White Run Stable. Yes, let's go to White Run Stable. Um... Follow my Twitch. 
We're going to do a, uh, a live stream to make up for that drunk live stream. It, it was only like a tiny bit. It wasn't that long at all. But follow my Twitch. The link is in the description below because we're going to probably do a big exploration stream for this at some point. And you definitely want to watch it. Like for all the people that have seen my Twitch streams in the past, in the far past, and been like, oh, you're not focused and you talk to the chat and all that stuff. I get, I get it because, yeah, in the past I was so less focused. These days, I know what people want to see for the most part. So I know that, you know, if we do a Skyrim stream, we're going to be doing a lot of gameplay and getting a lot of stuff done if I'm not imbibing alcohol. So yeah, I would definitely recommend following that and keeping an eye out for any announcements that I'm going live with Skyrim if you want to see it. Nevertheless, we are going to take a completely different route from what I was planning, and I'll explain why in a second. I do. Oh, let's test out a thing that a commenter left, that if we just get into the carriage... Look at that! We don't actually need to talk to him. But then he's not going to say climbing back and we'll be off, though. Wait. Oh, look at that. Wait, hold on. It says use carriage. Do Wait. Let's get into it. And then let's press A once again, because I just used the, the uh, left stick to move out of it. Yeah, no, you do have to talk to him. There's no way to move. Unless we can, like, talk to him in the carriage. But anyways, I want to see him say the thing anyway, so it's all good. My carriage is the safest way to travel. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Markarth. Climbing back and we'll be off. He said the thing. Air horns. Beer, 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 beer. Oh, I'm ready to go. Let's go, buddy. Why does this game volume sound so low? Did I turn the game volume down? It sounds really, really low to me. I have to jack up my headphones, like, way high. In fact, before we go in there, yeah, let's check. Uh, let's go to settings and audio. Everything should be, yeah, master's up there. Effects, footsteps, voice is all the way up. Music, maybe like, maybe like one more. Yeah, that sounds good. Also, uh, one thing I need to remember is when we get thumbnails, I need to use the console and type TM, which toggles the menus, and then that'll be easier. On Fallout New Vegas, you can't do that. Hello? First time in Markarth, Traveler. Take my advice. If you see anything, don't get involved. The city guard will take care of it. Uh, is there some problem in the city? See? There you go, getting involved. Don't ask too many questions in Markarth. It's safer for everyone that way. Head on in. Keep your nose clean and you won't have any problems with us. Okay, well, I mean, if you don't want people asking questions, why are you so incredibly suspicious right from the get-go? But that's just, <laughs> you know, that's just my two cents, pal. All right, let's make a save. By the way, um, one other thing I wanted to talk about is a uh, massive thank you to the patrons that support this channel. We have the most amount of patrons we've this channel has ever had. And I don't know, I just take that as a sign that I'm producing better content lately. So if you're a, currently a patron that's supporting me uh, and the Twitch channels and this YouTube channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Everybody says it comes with the territory of YouTube and Twitch, but seriously, you don't know how much that means to me. Thank you so, so, so much for supporting me. Uh, thank you just... Yeah, I, I, I really, really, really do appreciate it. And like I said, we have the most amount of patrons ever. And that just makes me feel good because I feel like we're going in the right direction. So thank you very, very, this very much. Markarth, Let's head into Markarth. City. Now, wait a second. Can we reload that autosave? I want to try something. We did it! Okay, so this is important. I'll explain why in just a second. From my By the people. divines, the Forsworn are here in the city. Everyone, stay back. The Markarth City Guard have this all under control. There are no Forsworn here. Okay, a lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff, and this guy's sauntering on over. Hey, did you see did that? Kill a woman attacked right, right on the streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? Okay. So, I must have missed it. Sorry, I heard some shouting about the Force Warren. That was it. I was right there. He almost killed me. Um. I heard some shouting about the Force Warren. That was it. The Force Warren? Strange. Well, I hope the Eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Is this your note? What does it mean? My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Do you know anything about the attack? Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Until next time. 
strange. A lot of strange happenings we happening here in Markarth. What do y'all think about the voice? I don't know, man. These voices are like 50-50 cringy, 50-50. We can work on them and make them interesting. I don't know. It just feels so wrong to not even do a voice for my characters these days. I do a lot more role-playing, you know? I feel like it's just more of an interesting playthrough. But you always get the little kids that are like, That voice is cringy. I don't like that voice. Stop that voice. But then you get people that are like, I like that voice, GB. Keep it up. So, I don't know. It's always 50-50. And I, I, know, I, I know I need to work on them, but... Anyways, we got a note from Eltris. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. And notice he said the uh, the eight instead of the nine, because Talos worship is banned under the Talmor, because they're pieces of garbage. Okay, so this man. Did you see that, Madman? Yeah, I know. Can we be quiet for a second so I can concentrate on commentating, please, NPCs? A forsworn agent here in the city. Yeah, I got it. What do you need? Okay, hold on. So this is Waylon, and Waylon has gold, lock picks, boots, miner's clothes, gloves, and steel dagger. Miner's clothes might be a little hint, I'm not entirely sure. Nevertheless, um, he tries to kill one of these people. I'm not even sure who he tries to kill. I guess we'll talk to them and see. He tried to kill Margaret. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. Sounds like it's Margaret. Thank you. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. So look at that silver emerald necklace added. Um, I, I just wish Skyrim, I just wish Bethesda like included more unique weapons and armor and stuff to give you as rewards for stuff like this. If you go out of your way, like how long would it have taken to just add like you know Margaret's amulet and then it gives you X stat? But they always just give you random stuff. That man said something about the Forsworn. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. So Cyrodiil is where Oblivion takes place, by the way. The home of the Imperials. Do you know why he was after you? No. I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, that's all you're gonna say? Okay, so we saved her from Waylon. Uh, most of the time, most most people's playthroughs, they don't know what's happening, so... Uh, Margaret just gets murdered, you know? Uh, also, I'm trying to look for a thumbnail. Where can we go? Uh, the Tower of Markarth's pretty cool. Markarth is my favorite city, by the way. I love this place. It's so awesome looking. Uh, we are looking for a particular thing, though. Uh, one thing that you kind of want to do every time you come up to a new city is grab the keep. Fast travel point. Uh, there's a keep like for every major city. So here's Understone Keep, uh, which we got. So now we can fast travel to both Markarth and Understone Keep. Kind of want to get up to that tower and try to see if we can grab a thumbnail. I'm forgetting the layout since it's been so freaking long since I've played Skyrim. Uh, but let's, yeah, here we go. Let's go up here. I think this is where we meet uh, Eltris, the guy that gave us that note, by the way. Can we get a good... Eh, that doesn't look so great. Maybe if we get up there, we can find a good vantage point. Uh, can we land down there? I'm gonna quick save and try it. We'll handle things from here. Move along. Yeah, so the Markarth guards are obviously very, very, very suspicious, trying to keep a lot of things under wraps, seemingly. So, would this make a good thumbnail? I don't know, man. Well, we'll get one now, and we'll try and see if we can find a better one. No, that's not even great. Honestly, like, that's even better. Um... I don't know, I really want a thumbnail of Markarth. Because Markarth looks so good. Maybe it's because, what time is it? Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, let's wait six hours and try to take one in the daytime. This is my favorite city. I, the first time I arrived here, I was like in awe. I just loved how it looked. It looks so good. So here, if we open up the console, we can type TM, and then BAM! Look at that! So much faster. So now we can take, now we can take uh, thumbnail pictures or whatever you want to call them super duper quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Console. Uh, hello? The game seems to be frozen now, and I'm not sure if it's because... Oh! Oh, okay, there it is. Uh, why is there no... Hello? Okay, the... Okay, hello? The console... Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Alright, that was weird. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it takes off the console menu as well when you do that. Alright, so there's a specific reason we are in my favorite city. Which, hopefully, we can figure out. Oh, I think we have to come back. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have to come back after visiting Markarth for the first time. We'll handle things from here. 
Move along. Okay, I get it, dude. I get it. You're hiding something. I understand. Here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to White Run. And we are going to wait. Oh, man, there's been so many good tips. Yeah, okay, so after we talked about the whole nitpicking thing, I'm going to wait uh, 24 hours just to be sure, by the way. After we talked about the whole nitpicking thing, a lot of people have been leaving comments that like, hey, GV, I'm not trying to nitpick. I'm just saying that I, I want to make a very clear distinction. I appreciate all tips and help. In fact, the, the whole reason we're doing this in this episode is because of like constructive you know feedback and stuff that is completely different from nitpicking don't worry about nitpicking if you're you know if you if you if you have to wonder if your comment is nitpicking or not it's probably not it's only the nitpicking stuff is like when people you know like if i don't open a jar and get four gold it's like that is super duper nitpicking like does it matter that i'm not opening up a jar and getting four gold you know it, it doesn't that, that that's what i'm talking about there's been so many tips and and stuff that have just been very very helpful and i really do appreciate that so i just want to make sure y'all understand that i appreciate like actual tips and stuff and one of those is um if we return the horn of jurgen windcaller which i do remember doing there is a, uh, we'll get a, a special reward. If we go back to Ustengrav, go all the way down and put your, the horn of Jurgen Windcaller back down, uh, we'll be able to get something. So that, you know, that's, that's awesome. And like what we'll do, what we're going to do here, what we're trying to get in this episode is, uh, another, um, we're doing that because of another bunch of slew of, uh, a slew of just awesome tips. So yeah, thank you for the tips. That is not nitpicking. I'm talking about the people that are like, oh, you didn't loot that four gold. I'm unsubscribing that type of shit. You know, I, I you just don't know anything really don't like that stuff. No. Anyone seen entering or leaving any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned and it's always been abandoned. <laughs> Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Why are you asking? I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Sorry, I don't know anything. Thank you for your time. Oh, come on now. Give me the quest, pal. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? No, I haven't. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship, evil rites, and so forth. Do you need any help? I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me, and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Never should have come here. So we have the House of Horrors, and one interesting thing that you can do when you get new quests... Ah, there it is. Uh, as you can look at the little flare uh, to the left and right of the name of the quest, see how it has that symbol there? Well, you can get maybe a hint as to what the quest that you're doing is a part of, if you catch my drift. Not to spoil anything, it's right there, I'm not spoiling anything. Anyways, let's go into the abandoned house. Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I asked say no one enters or leaves. Wait, did you hear that? I think it came this way. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on, we're getting to the bottom of this. All right, sounds good. Come out. We know you're here. There's another door. See if you can get it open. You got it. Uh, I can't, sir. The way this game works is when it says requires key, there's no way to enter it unless you have said key. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. So the name of the quest, by the way, is the House of Horrors, and we didn't really see it too much, but there's stuff flying all around the house. You first. Come on. Let's go. What do you mean, you first? Did you say get out? Okay, fine with me. No. Kill him. Crush his bones. Tear at his flesh. Get out of my head, Daedra. You will kill. You will kill, or you will die. I don't want to die. Oh, I can't die here. The Daedra has us. It's you or me. 
Dude, you turned really quick. Wow. Wow. Okay, buddy. Well, guess what? Guess what racial power I have, pal. Vigilant Tyrannus. Yeah, you made a huge mistake, sir. Oh, God, he's a mage. Of course he is. Okay, let's back up a second. Let's use some healing. When I get that feeling, I want sky rums heal it. How many times have I made that joke? Jesus Christ. Ancient Nord sword in both hands. And let's finish him. Yes, your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. Ooh, find your reward. And we don't even have to feel bad about it. Not that uh, Grogon would, but because this guy attacked me first, he sure did turn quickly. He, for being a vigilant or whatever. What's he, a vigilant of Stendar, right? Um, yeah, man, he didn't really have that much faith. Ruby, Apprentice Robes of Restoration, Apprentice Hood, Amulet of Stendar. There it is. Block 10% more damage with your shield. Garbage! Silver Garnet Ring and a Steel Mace. Speaking of maces... Uh, let me search this chest if you don't mind, buddy. I'm gonna lift you up uh, really quick. Sliced goat cheese, yum. Uh, hold on, weird voice in my head. Let me just take a look here. If there's any potions I'd like to grab some, that'd be great. Ooh, some tomates. Oh, why did I eat all of those? I should have saved them for the vet for the vegetable stew. We gotta remember, yeah, cabbage, tomato, potato, and leek, right? Got it. So dark in here, I can't even see anything. Uh, Dwarven Arrow. Ooh, gold and a Petty Soul Gem. Very nice. Cabbage. All right, let's go down. So it says to go get our reward. I saw a potion over here, by the way, but I guess it flew off. Uh, ooh. Guess what I spotted. Okay, let's go down and grab whatever our reward is. Uh, we didn't really do much other than defend ourselves, but I'll take anything that legendary... Yes, further into the bowels. Legendary Skyrim wants to give us... Further into the bowels. So close. Your prize is waiting. Right, but is it actually a prize, though? We have a rusty mace. Fool. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak. A mace. It's rusted. Rusted. Dry. There was a time when this mace dripped with the blood of the feeble and the worthless. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate it, left it here to decay until you came. You want revenge on Boethia? Revenge? No, I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing, captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his rite one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. Okay, you got it, pal. Uh, let's see. Is this gonna be a better thumbnail? I'm always keeping an eye out for those thumbnails. Ooh, can we get... Ooh, kind of like that? Let's test it and see. TM. Don't ruin this for me again. See, it freezes it, right? And then I hit the tilde key, and then... Oh, hit it once, and then hit it... Oh, I see. I understand now. Okay, I got it. Cool. So, let's take a look. Find the Priest of Boethia. By the way, all Daedric quests... If you don't realize this is a Daedric quest by now, well, I don't know what to tell you, but... All Daedric quests have level requirements. A lot of people have suggested certain pieces of power that we should get... But you gotta remember that they have level requirements. I can't get certain things that I'm planning on getting just yet. I gotta wait till we're at the required level. Uh, this one, however, has no level requirement, which is what I was thinking. I didn't remember exactly, so I did some research. Grilled leeks, come on, I need regular leeks, man. 
Uh, and sure enough, yeah, there's no level requirement for this one. You could do this one immediately, but you do have to, like, go to Markarth first and then come back once you've activated the little scene with Waylon, I guess. Uh, also, before we leave Markarth, let's go talk well, to this am I man. To do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? You're closing this stall, and that's final. You want to give up now, out of fear? Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Mama, why are you and Papa fighting? We're not fighting, we're just... Why don't I get you something to eat? Mama and Papa will talk later. The I'm gonna finest be a jewelry in all of Like my mother and father. Alms. I said alms, Don't you try to haggle liar. with me. Buy or leave. Dare I ask where all this meat comes from? Ah, now that is a good question. Where does Hogni get the finest, freshest meat from all over the Reach? The answer is simple. Orcs. There is a stronghold nearby whose hunters can butcher a the deer in seconds. In now having an orc for a wife would be something. Yes. Strong and bulky. Too bad they don't let people go beyond the walls. Let me show you where they are. Maybe they welcome you. Maybe they put an arrow in your face. Who knows? So there's not many orcs in Skyrim, but they are in these strongholds, and Hogni Redarm just gave us a map marker to one. Okay, uh, goodbye. Come back when you need more meat. Bring gold. So remember that name, How Hogni Redarm. Would Ugh. make that two septum. Ugh. I feel like living it up. Ugh. Okay, let's go find. So we need to go find that priest of Boethia who is near these sundered towers, and oh god. Oh god, I also need to grab the Lady Stone. It was the Lady Stone, right? The one that gives you 15% all skills. Yeah, why haven't I done that yet? God. Forgetting so many things. Forgetting so many things. Um, but we'll come to find him, uh, you know, eventually. As long as we don't have too much trouble with this playthrough, which honestly we haven't. I mean, there's been some enemies that have really been awful and have, uh, yeah, have done some, uh, have been very tricky to take down, but... So far, so good. The dragons have been the worst. Uh, if you did watch that live stream, which, by the way, the VOD is over on Twitch if you want to catch it. It's called, like, uh, if you go to my Twitch channel, it's, um, and you look at the videos on my Twitch channel, it's like the, I think it was called, uh, what was it called? Uh, it, the holiday stream. Yeah, the Christmas stream, something like that. And it's near the end. We did Skyrim for, I think, like, two or three hours. Uh, it was fun, but like I said, I was just too drunk, and these days I really rarely ever drink on my streams anyways, because, yeah, I try to stay focused. Uh, so yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Those beers were just too strong, and they hit me like a sack of bricks. But nevertheless, if you want to go watch it, it is there. Um, and I don't know why I brought that up, but nevertheless... Ooh. Uh, so yeah, we need to go way off in the distance. Where is the Lady Stone? Is it this one? Because I thought maybe it was one near Markarth. But I'm probably getting this mixed up. Uh, we do want to grab it, if that is it. That would get, that would be a good place to end. Because that is part of the build that I want to go for. Oh, no. Okay, time to make a save. I thought those were maybe hunters and not what they are. So, oh, crap. I don't really want to fight them right now. Because that'll take up the rest of the episode. And I'll probably die. So, let's do something incredibly stupid. Ooh, no! I was gonna do something, but we can't. Oh no 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 no! Okay, I'm trying to grab whatever this little mining area is. Okay, uh, let's make sure we have unrelenting force. Here we go. Coal scale. Okay, can we get stop getting stuck on literally everything? And how about you? Back the hell off! See you later, alligator. Enjoy it. Okay, let's see. Can we get around here? That that standing stone is right up there. Oh no, it's at the top of the mount. Okay, come on, come on, let me do this. It's good. This is gonna be a hard slope to climb. Yeah, we have no footing at the moment, but maybe we can make something happen. Otherwise, I don't really know where to. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Right there. Oh my god, <laughs> I've been playing Bethesda games far too long, man. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, uh, oh man, I'm stuttering all over the place. You know you've been playing Bethesda games for way too long when you know exactly which slopes you can traverse and which ones you can't. And I, th Yeah, I thought this one would be hard, but I thought we might be able to do it. Aha! Look, where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. So close. So close. I really hope this is the one I'm thinking of. I thought it was near Markarth. So perhaps it is. And it's the one on the cliff, right? Yeah, it's this one. Oh, man, this game is so pretty. 
freaking YouTube and its compression, man. It really takes a lot out of the recording. Like, if you saw one-to-one -one what I was seeing right now, like, it, it looks so much better. Okay, can we? Come on, we're right there. We are right there. We just need to get over. Yeah, come on. It's, yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way, like I said. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh. God, this game does look really good. It is the Lover Stone. I thought it was the lady, but yeah, the Lover Stone. Heck yeah, dude. That was just completely unplanned. I was thinking it was somewhere else, maybe. Um, I don't know. So many different thumbnail options here, but I kind of like this one. Let's see. Can we get, like, more of a... Eh, I don't know. It's hard because it kind of blocks the view, but let's just go like this. Okay. Once again, so hit the tilde key, TM, and then type TM again. And then hit the tilde key again. That's what we want to do. Okay. So this stone. Those under the sign of the lover always feel a lover's comfort. All skills improve faster. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. Unless you get a certain item, which would be crazy good for this Let's Play. Uh, we'll see, though. Uh, this one is, in my opinion, the best to get. Thief Stone is removed. But guess what? Thief Stone only increases thief skills by 20%, uh, right? The Lover Stone increases all skills, unless they changed it, by 15%. So, yeah, it's just, it's not even an option. You might as well go for this. Much more level ups and a perfect place to end this playthrough, this episode. Thank you so much for watching. This series has been so fantastic so far. Uh, I honestly was not expecting it. You guys and gals have just been, oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. You guys and gals have just been watching the crap out of this. Thank you so much. Again, massive thank you to the patrons that support the crap out of this channel. I love you all so much. Um, it just fills me with massive happiness and pride when, you know, what I'm doing goes well. So, thank you so much for watching it and being a part of it. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more of my content, I stream live on Twitch. The schedule and link is in the description below. Also, massive thank you to the patrons up there at the top of the screen. If you'd like to be one, you help me continue to do this full time, and you get some perks. The link is also in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.